this is kind of like a an out there idea, but it I think it's similar to how actual nav meshes are generated. I had this idea of um basically I would take an area say crossroads and I have this area and I split the area into a bunch of voxels and in this case the voxels are one by one stud. Uh and that has a decent resolution and basically just scans the entire area and maps it out and then uh, greedy meshes all the the planes together. So when I run this, it's going to slow down a bit. Obviously because it's scanning everything. Um, but it's reasonably performant and you can see it's kind of getting in. Filling all those spaces up with parts. Obviously, because they're parts, they have to be rectangular. And uh, there's no slants. It has no concept of slants, so this happens. But it gets pretty, pretty good. Um, you can see it gets a little bit weird when the when it's really big. But otherwise, it's like good see it got all this detail here of all the different levels even the tops of the trees uh, you see it goes around the tree and this tree and it kind of got these steps but yeah these steps it reasonable to assume they kind of be difficult this isn't perfect obviously if you're using this <laughs> you'd want to edit it um some things like this don't make sense, but it, it, it thinks, oh, somebody can stand there. It got, I'm surprised it works so well in this room. Like, having a layer on top and the layer below it, it, it's just wild. And, like, this part, where there's, like, this the bridge, and then below it, there's more. It's, like, that's really cool to me. Even got this bridge really good somehow. So this algorithm worked a lot better than I first anticipated. Now all I need to do is figure out how to actually put this into a data structure because all this actually does is just generates all these parts and that's about it. But if you go in the I wanted to see that I picked crossroads specifically because of this part. It got got it pretty good. Yeah, 